Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes E-Class that generation here from year 2010 to year 2016. This is known as generation W212. Uh, guys, if you need to find where the fuse for the diagnostic connector socket is located, which fuse you need to check if you pu put a scanner and it doesn't communicate, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Now, if you have a Mercedes E-Class, that generation from year 2010 to year 2016, 17 guys, this is the W212 guys. We're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car. Why things do not work? Why we're making this one? Because uh, we're trying to save you time and money, guys. Let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere. Your car does not start. You need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located, guys. Where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses, fuel pump fuses. All you have to do, come to the channel, watch that video. One, two minutes, you're back on the road, guys. In addition, we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make, guys, at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix mechanical, electrical, engine work, guys, body work, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars, guys, in free repair videos. Check it out if you need help with that. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So guys, the diagnostic connector socket fuse, where you can find it, we will demonstrate on that generation Mercedes E-Class. This is guys the pre-facelifted model. This here is the facelifted model. Practically that's the same generation, so the fuse boxes will be the same. You have multiple fuse boxes, but today we're working one that's in the trunk. Open the trunk and here guys, on the right side you have that cover. Pull that cover and underneath you'll find the main trunk fuse box. The rear fuse box that will look like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So, it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So guys, the diagnostic connector socket, fuse, where you can find it. Oh, by the way, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools, at a really good price, quick shipping for Mercedes or any car, we will put the link in the description of the video below. Check it out. You can guys save a ton of money. That's where we get most of our tools and supplies from. If you come here to that uh, uh, orange fuse box right here, guys, and next to every fuse, you will see a number. For instance, that 70, 71, 72, 73, and it corresponds to the fuse next to it. The diagnostic connector socket fuse is fuse number 73, that very top one right here. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.